Clements, Dave Moretti, and Paul Smith. And inside the ring, at the bell, your referee in charge of the action, Joe Cortez. And now, two fighters, unbeaten, undefeated, have entered the ring. Only one will emerge victorious. Somebody's O has got to go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue official weight, 145 pounds. His professional record is a perfect one, consisting of 43 bouts, 43 victories, including 31 knockouts. He is a three-time world titleist, currently recognized by Ring Magazine as the true junior welterweight world champion. Presenting the challenger, the former welterweight world champion, and two-time junior welterweight champion of the world, the undefeated fighting pride of Manchester, England, Ricky. Wearing gray, official weight, 147 pounds. A perfect professional record also. 38 bouts, 38 victories, including 24 knockouts. He has captured five world titles in five different divisions and is rated by all as pound for pound, the best in the world. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, former junior lightweight, former lightweight, Former super lightweight, former super welterweight world champion, the reigning, defending, undefeated welterweight champion of the world, Pretty Boy Floyd, a.k.a. Money. gentlemen we went over the rules in the dressing room i expect a good clean fight over a good sportsman like conduct on both the fighters and the cornermen you understand give me a clean fight i'll bring back a man's at all time and remember guys i'm fair but i'm firm touch him up Go. floyd mayweather insists that ricky hatton should appreciate that he is getting a chance to fight him. Let's see how Ricky Hatton shows his appreciation. If you like watching Floyd Mayweather fight, feast your eyes. He flatly claimed to us yesterday that he will not fight in either calendar 2008 or 2009. That this will be, if not his last fight ever, certainly his last fight for at least two more years. He said, I don't love boxing. Hatton would never say anything of the sort. Right here, you see the difference in the speed of Ricky Hatton as compared to other opponents of Floyd. Even when Oscar fought it, the foot speed, in addition to the upper body movement, is a lot different. Good quick left hook lands on the button for Mayweather. The accuracy of Floyd Mayweather's punching is one of his biggest weapons. It's the no man's land between where Hatton is and where he wants to get, where Mayweather has to win the fight. Mayweather is doing a very good job of keeping Hatton in no man's land. 
Yeah, but Rick landing his counter shots. But Rick is putting a lot of pressure more than I've ever seen any opponent put on. Even though he hasn't landed, he's putting pressure that Floyd is in very uncomfortable with. The, the, the foot specials is amazing. So. Everybody punch should bring a thunderous roar from the crowd, or at least as long as Hatton is functionally in the fight. See, that's again that foot speed. He's got Floyd losing his balance. He's making Floyd move a lot faster than he wants to. And if Floyd wasn't such a gifted athlete, he would have gone down there. It's when he gets here, Manhattan has to try to do damage and mount an offense. He says that the fallacy for most fighters has been that when they get Floyd into close quarters, they waste punches. And that he won't so, look to try to throw unnecessary combinations, but rather try to land something serious. So far, I would say the fight is going more towards what Ricky wants to do. Floyd looks a little uncomfortable. He's having problems actually hitting Ricky for just as well, too. Ricky is causing the problem with his speed. Well, what Hatton wants to make you do is fight 180 seconds of every round. Very few opponents who are in love with that. It's the British Bulldog against the American Boxer. Good straight right hand by Mayweather. Another effective, accurate counter fight. That's what Floyd is going to have to do to get some respect, because he can't keep running. He's going to have to land some power punch to slow Ricky down by getting respect. Relax. Relax. You're running that shit. Relax. Take your mouth off. Relax. Many fans around the arena standing up as if they are trying to interpret and decode what they just saw. Well, at the end of the round, Floyd did what he's got to continue to do if he's going to you know, do anything, because he's going to have to slow down Ricky a little bit to get respect. Well, it's interesting how perceptions can be formed. Copy box numbers in round one were one-sidedly Mayweather. Copy box found Mayweather landing 12 of 37 and Hatton landing 5 of 24. And I think, that's, I, think, I think that's pretty accurate, but it's just the tempo that, that I see the way the fight is going is something that Florida's not used to, so he's going to have to fight tonight. Well, and Harold Letterman scored the first round. For Ricky Hatton, perhaps thinking that it was a Hatton round in terms of ring generalship. There yeah, I think, but punch is landed, I'd have to say, for the ring, the fight is moving towards the way Ricky wants it to go. A so he's, he's, he's actually controlling the tempo of the fight. A street fight. Street fight. And his speed is bothering, bothering Floyd, too. Uh, there's an abrasion on the left cheekbone of Mayweather. And I thought I saw a trickle of blood out of the nostril of Ricky Hatton after one of those Mayweather counter shots. Cortez with a tutorial. He may have to issue some more of those. Well, when you're coming in with the anxiety the way that Rick is coming in, you always want to leave yourself open. So he's determined evidently that he's going to do that. At the figure that his still would pay off because he could get closer and eventually wear out Mayweather by taking, but still taking punches as he's coming in. Good right hand by Mayweather, and then he reached out and grabbed Hatton and held him. Well, he's been throwing one punch at a time, and some of them have been very effective. Well, so far he's, he's keeping Rick at a distance where he can catch him, but if, if he lets Ricky start crowding as the fight goes on. It's going to be different, especially with Ricky having those shorter hand arms. Now, Hatton lands very, the jab and gets inside. You got to get a little nasty. You got to get him back to the fight. 
back and lands another jab. Almost gets tripped by Mayweather's feet. Mayweather oh, missing with a right hand counter punch. Break out clean. The way this is going, you wonder if Cortez is going to allow Hatton to fight the fight that he wants to fight. Because Cortez seems to be breaking them up every time they get into close quarters. All right, you guys are doing two parts of much dirty fighting, too much wrestling, and you got one of the 80 points. I mean. It's Mayweather who's holding. There's no question who's doing the holding. If points were to be deducted, you would have to think it would be Floyd who would giving them up. Even sometimes when he lands a good punch, he still closes. But he's, he's only trying to land pot shots, just enough to keep the distance and get, get his points up. And Floyd Mayweather reaches out with his left arm and grabs Hatton. Hatton, who's been accused of clinching and holding in the back, now wraps an arm under Mayweather's left arm. And round two is a scratch and sniff affair. Look to me as though Mayweather is making some adjustment to the moves and quickness of Hatton. That fucking right hand, he sums it all the time, Ricky. Yeah. You've got to stop it, you know what I mean? Head more, head movement. I like you keeping it on him, you've got to keep it on him. It's simple for now, simple for now. Yeah. Like you said, like, you're looking off balance. Then you start getting... Listen, all he's gonna do is press. All he's gonna do, he can't fight, he's gonna put pressure. So right, let's pass out. Pass out. Relax. Roger just said exactly what I'd said. That's what he's doing, this pot shot. He's landing clean punches and then tying him up right away. Just enough to try to win points and to try to event him from getting too close to him. But as soon as he lands a punch, he's grabbing right away. Just trying to do enough to win a decision. Not trying to throw punch, combinations, punch, just punch. one single punch. Don't punch. When you get the arms over the shoulder, go punch. Ho, ho, ho. Come on, let's go. Again, let's go. you wonder if Cortez is going to let Hatton oh, fight out, where Hatton wants clean, to break fight. Out, clean. Break out, oh, Let him out, let him out. Hey, Ricky, watch out holding. This time, Cortez wants Hatton for holding when it seems as though it's Mayweather who most frequently initiates the holds. Now this is where Hatton wants to fight the get fight. Get the out. And he lands a solid left hand don't inside. Don't be holding, don't be holding. Get the uh, out. Hatton wants an ugly fight. Mayweather wants a pretty boy fight. Stop, stop, stop. It's an ugly stop fight. Right let him out, let him out clean. left hook by Floyd Mayweather. Hatton goes past it and gets him in against the ropes. Floyd's uh, uh, main two punches has not been his jab. All he's trying to do is a check left hook where he pulls back, lands a left hook as Ricky comes in with his head up, or either throws a right hand lead. And immediately after landing either one of those punches, he ties up Ricky. If there's any weakness in Floyd Mayweather's game, it may be that he's been so effective for so long throwing one punch at a time and taking no risks that he doesn't have the mentality of throwing combinations anymore. Well, this, this guy's attacking it with a much more intensity, I said, than Oscar and any other guys. And you still look at Ricky's feet. You see how he's bouncing, springing, changing angles when he attacks, and that's something that Ford is not used to. Everybody else has been coming in on a straight line. Stop, right there. Boy, I'm holding that head down. I've never seen Joe Cortez work this hard. I, and I see Mayweather starting to breathe a little bit heavier than he normally would expect. Floyd seems to be a lot more comfortable in this situation than I've ever saw him in any of his professional fights. Now he got caught with a choke. Hard right hand by Mayweather. Hatton keeps coming. Mayweather strafes him with another right hand. Floyd Mayweather's right hand counter with the right eye. And there's a cut over Ricky Hatton's right eye. Big cut. Which is just what everybody feared. Had to come from one of those punches. It was definitely from a punch. I don't think it was from a butt. It was from the right hand shot. And now this uh, will bring him to play Hatton's celebrated cut man, Nick the Rub Williamson, a London taxi driver. He leaves his taxi behind and comes to work for Hatton. Ricky says he's the only man in the world who can stop my cuts. Come on. 
And Mick Williamson leaps into the ring. 